everyone. Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners, along with Bob Iacchino. So let's go over to Bitcoin series. Oh, by the way, happy Boxing Day, if anybody who celebrates that. And if you're new to this channel, please like, subscribe, and comment so we can help keep it growing. All right. Bitcoin gold to start off. We have a still this potential double bottom trade, which is not triggered, which would be a close above 297, which give us targets of 348. 374 and 451 but i'd take 400. we also have a if we close above unless we get a trend line redraw at some point if we close above uh 290 we have a trend line trade which would give us targets of 326 and 341 and you can see the compressed volatility we're really watching the next way this is going to break if we do break below this lower trend line, we'll be watching for 222, then 193. And if those are broken, we'd be watching for about this cluster area of about 120, uh, about 164 to 162, and then 136. Those would be our downside targets on a bigger sell off. And the other upside targets I went through, let's check in on the daily, how this is looking on the daily. So. You can see we're pretty much caught between the 50 day exponential and the rotation zone, which is now technically crossed. Now they're roughly in the same place, but that's that's right where they are. It needs to get really above this 280 level on a daily basis, on a closing basis before we'll see any sustainable upside movement. Also, if we do get a close below this about 247 area that would not be good and we'd probably start triggering some of these lower levels i mentioned looking at bitcoin cash bitcoin cash last week did trigger this double bottom ran up hit both the targets a stop reduction and first profit target by the way there's also a trend line trade here which did hit and that's that red line that 3070 and you see it did recover back. This did not invalidate this uh, double bottom. So this final target about this 3257 to 63 is still in play. Now, we're watching, we're right between a, two major zones right here about this 2864 and these 2557. That's really gonna determine the next area we go to if we break above this 2564 area then we'll be watching for the a retest of this 3070 and then the 3257 targets then above that if we get a stronger rally we'd be watching for 3484 if we break below this 2553 2554 level then we'll be watching for a retest of about 2300 and then if that does not hold we'd be watching for eventually a return to possibly the 1936 level let's check in on the daily chart of that one so you see it's holding at the upper end of the rotation zone and it's just consolidating here with the lower volatility from the holidays and you see also where these levels if we do break down this 2300 level is right at the bottom of the rising rotation zone so that's going to be a very important level okay on a daily basis finally over to bitcoin bitcoin did trigger this double bottom here with this bars closed from the 25th on christmas day came back first cross rotation tested that also kissed this trend line goodbye and now rotating back up. So the targets for the double bottom are 17,148, 18,223, and then the lower probability one is 19,298. Our major area we're also watching since this did target a trend line trade too. We're targeting the trend line trade, first target is about the 16,260 area. Now this can easily pull back and retest the rising rotation zone. So that is fully within the uh, boundaries of what the rotation zone will do. What we really wanna see, we have the uh, now hooking up 50 period exponential moving average 
and the 8 just above it. So that's a really good support zone we're going to be watching for about 14,895 to 15,000 on a pullback. We don't want to see it get below this 14,450 level, especially on a closing basis. So those are the key levels we'll be watching for. If it does get below that 14,450, then we'll be watching for bigger pullbacks probably back down first about to the $13,000 mark you know, scan level. So don't be shocked if this does rotate a few times, come back to the rotation zone as it continues to push higher. But there is major, major resistance around the 16250 which is a prior breakdown zone and a major GAN level. By the way, the second target for the trend line trade, let me just put it on, I went over the first one, the second target was 16969 end of this clear path. Let's check in on the daily chart for Bitcoin, see where that stands. It's always important to keep that in mind. So we did not get the cross of the rotation zone on the daily chart with this strong up move. So we still technically have the rotation zone in our favor and we could still pull back to this 1500 level, which would be the top of the rotation zone on the daily and find key support there. So that's about all we have on the Bitcoin series for you. Remember, some of these uh, cryptos are in very low volatility mode and watch for those igniting momentum bars either up or down because that will dictate the next major direction and which levels you should target. So we have for you. Bye for now.